Good evening, you are about to now watch me paint myself into a Five Finger Death Punch front cover album, which I haven't exactly decided which album I'm going to be inspired by yet. I guess all of them? After all, they're pretty much all the same character on all the albums, just doing different things. I actually saw Five Finger Death Punch for the very first time when I was like 17 or 18 years old in like 110 degree weather in Arizona with my best friend, Amanda. It was very hot. There's my useless story for this video. As always, all the products I use today will be listed somewhere around the video. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. If you also have any characters that you would like to see being formed off of rock bands, music bands, preferably not anything not rock bands. Also, leave your suggestions in the comments below. I decided that ultimately I was going to reference our Jekyll and Hyde album for the main face. I'm starting off by painting half my face white using white body paint and the other half mixed with yellow and white. At first I was being very light about the yellow, but then I figured, meh, eh, why not? So I just blended more of a patch of yellow into the yellow side. Using a stippling brush, I then went in with a light brown and just added some of the shading more towards the bottom half of the white side. We're going to be working on the skull side first. I then mixed together black and white body paint to give me a lighter, kind of darker gray. Darker than white, but lighter than... hmm. I made gray, and I applied that to the same area as the light brown. To sketch out my eye socket, as well as some other features, I used a Made You Look angled brush and some black eyeshadow. Also using this black eyeshadow to add some shading around the temples and just some other features. Using some horribly ugly light brown body paint, but it's on the reference photo, I applied it underneath my brow, a little bit on my forehead, as well as in my cheekbone area. Well, more so jaw. Using light gray, I just lightly sketched in some details around the eyes, didn't really have like a clear form yet. and decided I was gonna bounce over to filling in my eye socket using black body paint as well as setting that using black eyeshadow. A little bit of Lexorcist. Jumping over to the teeth, I used black body paint and a detail brush to fill in the teeth's outline. I also continue to use black body paint to fill in the holes that are on the nose, which are really cool looking by the way. I then added a little bit of cracking details and texture as well as darkened up the outline around my cheekbone as well as my temple. Using gray and black body paint, I also added some details above and below the teeth. To give the teeth more detail and shading, I also added some brown body paint as well as some gray body paint and highlighted them using white. And probably the most satisfying part of this entire video is adding white highlights to everything on the skull side. And also throwing a little bit of yellow highlights in there. A little bit of gray liney texture.
And because I don't have the same jawline as the album cover, I added black around the edge of my jaw to make it look more like said album cover. Because my handprint would have been gigantic on my face, I used red eyeshadow to fill in the handprint because I wanted it to appear as if it were lightly printed on, not harshly. This yellow side was quite the doozy to figure out because it's facing kind of the other way on the album so you don't really actually get to see this side hardly at all. Creative Liberties, five figure death punch if you're watching this video right now. Creative liberties. Regardless, I knew I had to start with outlining the teeth because I knew what that looked like. I knew I had to fill in the teeth white. And that's about where it stopped that I knew anything because that's where you can't really see the other side of the face. I could see that it had red gums, red lips. At first I was like Joker-like and then I'm like nah. Got kind of a fluffy mustache going on. And I think if this creature is doing anything it's gonna be kind of growling. Almost. I went with a, a growling almost. Using black body paints, I then outlined the lower lip as well as separating the lip from the gums and adding some shading above the teeth between the fur and the not upper lip. And at this point, you may be wondering, Lex, what are you doing? I will be the first to tell you, I do not have a clue. I added some white slimy highlights. We're getting somewhere, nowhere fast, and I'm not sure where, but somewhere. Decided to leave the mouth for a while and go back in adding the brown eyeshadow to create fur-like texture. This included shading around the eye, apparently a lot, as well as kind of sculpting in some sort of cheekbones. Using red body paints, I went ahead and filled in what is going to be my eyeball red. I also shaded around the edge of my new eyeball using black eyeshadow. Continuing to use that black eyeshadow, I then just created shading around the eye as well as just a tired looking type eyeball with a lot of stress lines, a lot of wrinkles. and continued adding these wrinkles using black body paints. To match the reference photo, I added some brown body paint to the tip of my nose as well as a little bit of black. To create the illusion that this is a face that was ripped off and there is a skull underneath, I used black body paint and formed almost a triangle but just created one side of the triangle using black. This would create the shadow that's on the underside of all the tears. Of any look, drawing a pupil on your eyelid is always the toughest thing because you can't exactly keep your eye open. You really just have to do your best to kind of look down. For the clothing, I referenced a different album which had a tux on it and I found that appropriate considering this one had a top hat on. I'm first applying down the collar and what would be the undershirt using white body paint. And applied a tie that was kind of like blowing using red body paint. Which I went over a couple times for obvious reasons because I was mixing the red in with the white paint underneath it. Whoops. I then just went for it using the detail brush and black body paint outlining everything and adding details to the tie. I wanted it all to have that drawn kind of cartoony type look to it that matches the album covers type of style. I then mixed together black and white body paint to give myself a gray and took a little bit of that black that was on the side of that tie as well 
mixed it in and created a shadow for that tie. I also use these grays to create and separate a cartoony type style of outline around the collar. I continue to do the same using black. To create all the highlights that are going to be on the jacket, I first laid them down using gray body paint and then filled in the rest of the jacket using black. 